Hello guys, welcome to Bright VIP The Righteous Channel. My name is Serge. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about um, a recent video I posted, which is about a Tesla, which is the new Tesla Model 3 Highland Edition that was uh, designed. Uh, it finally came out. I'm over here with my kids. We got our go-karts. They're just riding back and forth. And uh, a scooter. There's my other son over there on the electric Segway scooter. We're just enjoying ourselves on this beautiful day. What's up, Jason? Hey. All right, have fun. So anyways, what I want to talk to you guys about is um, that latest video, of course. Uh, and also using Tesla for rideshare because, uh, you know, I've gotten some comments from you guys and yeah, I got like various different comments. And um, a lot of you guys say different things. And um, about the rear screen in the new Model uh, 3, right? It's definitely awesome if you got like kids or something, you know, they could watch something in the back. Uh, also, if you got like private clients, would be great. Um, but if you got some some regular drunk people that you're carrying home and just like regular like Uber X um, type of riders, a lot of them, they have like no respect for your vehicle. Um, not saying I have any bad experiences with that. I'm sure I could uh, think a few like minor things, but when people see like expensive cars like a tesla or whatever first of all nowadays nowadays they're so used to the idea of a tesla like they don't really think about tipping you any extra like in the beginning when they see like a nice model 3 you would get some better tips just those tips alone could be enough to pay you pay for your tesla rental if you were renting one but nowadays um they're paying more uh for the rides um one of the things that i will mention uh this is something that rideshare professor has talked about. Um, let's see. Let me put myself here, kind of like in the shade, because it's it's a bit it's a bit too hot too hot. Uh, so recently, uh, some of the big big uh, cities like Los Angeles and I'm sure some other big cities, Lyft and Uber have taken away like. Um, uh, they've taken away surge pricing um, for drivers, <laughs> but they kept it for the riders. So basically, the riders are paying the surge pricing while the drivers are actually not getting those surge pricing. Therefore, drivers are pissed because instead of making like $20, $30 an hour, they're making like $15 an hour. Uh, and then obviously, drivers are seeing these low prices. They're not going to accept those trips. I mean, Beyonce was in town and... I can't believe it like you would think that day like you gotta make some money right um but no 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 search pricing and they make up these excuses you know that uh like whatever whatever you know but anyways when all said and done you find out for the riders they're paying they're paying for the search pricing but anyways that's that's another story so what does that all mean uh why am i even saying that well the rider already pays the search pricing right is he gonna think about tipping no and so the driver now in a nice car let's say like a tesla or something else um he picks up this rider thinking maybe he was going to get it like a tip or something or like paid more but no the comfort rides they don't pay any more than x do um i've tested this time and time again and as a matter of fact guys i recorded some of these videos for you like the screen recording that i'm actually getting ready to show to you guys um and i would like to show you what's the actual ride offers that i'm getting so i'm sure if you're a driver you're probably getting those things already so it's not going to be like news to you but everything's like below a dollar now uh including including uh comfort rides so i say to that it's like okay like what's the point of even having a nice luxury car but let's get back to a tesla for instance uh, first of all i like teslas but i don't think it's a luxury car uh especially like a model 3 model y i like them they're nice they're economic car they're basically like economy cars uh in my mind i drive luxury cars and i understand what luxury feels like um it's just different uh so when i'm driving a tesla because i rented them already like many times uh what does it look like to me it just looks like a lot of cheap materials like none of that stuff screams luxury to me uh including the soundproofing it's like not even that good uh, especially like the 2018 models um until they started using like dual pen glass i'm sure this new model 3 they have improved the uh, soundproofing a lot so the new one it's got that going for it lots of in interior uh gimmicks that 
are nicer. It supposedly feels a little bit more luxurious. I don't know what that feels like. Uh, I would like to definitely get my hands on one so that, so that I could actually uh, drive it, use it. And I might end up renting one once it comes out as a rental. Um, I will talk to Hertz and just rent it, just, to, just enjoy it. So here's kind of like what I think. I think that if you want to experience a Tesla, don't go out there and buy one so you could use it for Uber. Just rent it. It's not going to pay you a lot of money. I've done a video uh, recently where I calculate these things. You're going to get paid uh, slightly over $13 an hour, slightly under $13 an hour after paying for your Tesla. And that's, that is counting um, a 48-hour week, which is a big week already. Like That's still like a lot of hours, okay? So with that being said, um, one of the viewers uh, mentioned that rear screen, he said, give it like, you know, a couple weeks or whatever, like one of the passengers is gonna break the rear screen. And that's true. See, these people like, you know, they get into your ride, um, you know, first of all, they're paying too much money. You're not getting that money, you know, for having um, like a nice car, like a Tesla. But somebody out there, right, is gonna probably kick your screen in and you're just not even gonna know about it. They're just gonna kick it in. I had stuff like like cables, like electric charging cables that was stolen uh, by my passengers. I would contact Lyft or Uber and nobody does anything about it. So that is just, to me, that is just ridiculous. Um, so what do you think is gonna happen when somebody kicks your screen in and they're, they're gonna basically crack it? Uh, what's gonna happen with that? Um, they're probably not gonna pay you any money for that screen. Um, I mean, maybe they'll do like a hundred dollars uh, or slightly more, but that's it. But you know, that screen's probably like a thousand bucks. Um, and the reason somebody would do that, it's the same reason when people go in the bathrooms and they do graffiti on the walls, they're writing stuff on walls. They'll write like a, like a city transportation bus and they're gonna scratch something in with like, um, like a knife or something, or they're gonna take a, a lighter and they're gonna burn like your seat or whatever in and and these teslas they got like rubber seats like that stuff is gonna like melt basically like i'm talking about like the leather is made out of some kind of like rubber material which will degrade over time um i don't know how long it's gonna last but it's probably eco-friendly that's why they call it like vegan leather it will actually wear out uh in time uh, i've actually rented a tesla before uh where one of my pillows and i'm probably gonna edit this video and show you guys that picture one of the pillows um i mean headrest pillows okay it started having like all these creases in it i don't know where those creases came from whether it was a chemical reaction from a car wash additive that they were uh adding uh when they were washing the vehicle or was it from the sun i don't know but the very first time i rented a tesla and i gave it back i noticed that pillow was just like wrinkled up good thing i had insurance but they gave me like a little bit of a hard time at that rental place. They tried to blame it on my hair products. I'm like, hair products? Like, what are you talking about? Like, first of all, I don't wear no, no hair products in the back. And I got some gel, which is like solid, like, you know, it's frozen in my head. So it's like nothing that could really um, get on the seat. But I'm thinking, think about all the people that actually wear hair products. If that messes up your seat like that, um, they're not going to be happy about it. Like. They just paid all this money for a Tesla and they would probably have some kind of like recalls or something going. But anyways, the rental place, they looked at the, cre you know, the creases. I actually told them about it because I have insurance. I pointed it out. They actually did not even see it. They gave me a little bit of a hard time. I'm like, look, that's what the insurance for, right? They're like, yeah. And then they're like, you know, they couldn't say nothing. But I could tell they were pissed um, because now they have to mess with insurance. But one of you guys recently uh, wrote something to me that you rented a Tesla for a while and you got like a little star in your window and the whole thing just cracked. I don't understand the, the whole thing, but it turns out that Uber covers that glass on their, their warranty. Turns out $2,500 deductible. And um, I think the, the glass itself, that windshield, I think it costs like 1500 bucks or 1600 bucks. I can't remember what it was actually like in the comment section, but still over a thousand bucks, okay? That means he had to pay for that window out of his pocket. So if you're gonna be renting any kind of car, guys, make sure you um, make sure you get that warranty, 10 bucks a day. That's 70 bucks a week. If you rent it for a week, that's just like a headache you could avoid. Also, the last two times I've rented Teslas, both times, quarter panels was dented. 
uh apparently somebody i think opening up the doors when they you know like when somebody parks next to you they open up the door they probably slam it right into your tesla when you're like at a store or something they'll just do that out of spite because you got a tesla or a Kia or something actually the last one that i rented was keyed on the right side of the vehicle like all along the vehicle they covered it up somehow i think they touched it up like with a fine line but you could see it i actually pointed it out like when i was renting it but I tell those people, I'm like, yep, get in warranty. I said, that's the best way to avoid uh, headaches. And they're like, yep, you know, they know it. And then they said, I'm one of their best renters uh, out of that Hertz place. They actually like me there. You know, I'm surprised. Um, but apparently, you know, I make them a lot of money with those Teslas when I rent them. That was my fourth time that I rented a Tesla. So I think uh, when it comes to renting Teslas, um, I have about four months of actually me renting them all together. Um, so with that being said guys i uh, want to bring the last uh two examples when i had my nissan altima uh which was a four-cylinder economical car that's what i started with uh, i have these vents in the center console for the passengers somebody kicked them in one day i just looked there they're kicked in like and you cannot even like really like adjust them like the whole vent itself is like kicked in uh and i could not really even get it out you would have to like disassemble the whole thing to fix it and that's why like I read the comment of one of you guys and uh, that mentioned somebody's going to kick that screen in and just like maybe like by accident they're getting out. You know, they're going to pretend. But that already happened to me. And that was not a screen. That was just like the vents. And they could those vents could have broke. I'm surprised they didn't break. It's just the whole housing went on the inside. Um, I did not catch it up until like way, 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 way later. Um, now, with that being said, also, when you have your personal cars, uh, you could expect you're going to put lots of miles on those cars. I I had um, my BMW that I used previously that I purchased it for $1,500. Um, I put 70,000 miles on it. Uh, the Range Rover, I drove uh, for them as well after the BMW. I put 1,700 miles. No, 17,000. 17,000 miles on it. No problems. Like, no issues. I feel bad saying this, being a mechanic, right? I did not even do an oil change on that Range Rover. I like that's that's it. Like all I've done is I changed uh, one side of the vehicle has its brakes changed in the rotor. I haven't even replaced the other side rotor. Oh yeah, and the bearing. So I did the bearing, rotor, brake. That's all I did. And I've been driving it with water. Like I, I don't even have like coolant uh, in the in the vehicle. And I've been driving without a thermostat. I just I mean um yeah like a thermostat. That's kind of like um. The mechanical thermostat that goes inside of like one of your uh, uh, housings. I don't have a thermostat. I peeled it out and I've been driving without it. Like it's been working just fine. Like it, it, it just sounds great. Like the Range Rover has been just excellent. I only got like one code from it saying that it detected the coolant was like not cold, not, not hot enough. Uh, and I guess that's like in the beginning, like when it starts up, obviously it probably doesn't get to temperature right away. But when I'm driving it, it's like slightly below center perfect like i'm keeping that v8 nice and cooled as a matter of fact um i have a range rover that's it's parked over there in the parking lot like uh over there you probably don't see it but it's parked next to one of those jeeps um anyways anyways expect to rake up a lot of miles uh driving for uber or lyft uh don't bother with buying yourself a brand new vehicle guys you just kind of run it into the ground uh get yourself a nice used car for five ten thousand dollars if you could afford it something uh 2008 and up if you could find like a 2010 that'll last you several years just uh drive it till the wheels fall off enjoy it you'll actually make money and then when you're done with it deduct uh all the mileage uh for standard mileage deduction that will take uh, take care of all your depreciation and uh, all your fuel costs and just you're going to deduct 65 and a half cents per mile and uh you will notice that most of the time you're getting paid 65 cents uh, a mile or 60 cents a mile sometimes anyways for some of these trips sometimes above that but some of these trips i've been deducting them like and, and doing a calculation you'll actually um you could deduct more on your standard standard mileage deduction than what they're actually paying for the trip which is completely ridiculous they just don't pay enough now to to really do this i will still continue uh driving but man like i'm not gonna drive like uh during a regular week i might drive in the weekends i might just like drive like a couple times a week at this point i'm taking some time off from just driving altogether. 
I'm just right now enjoying my family time. Just um, on the Monday, I'm going to start uh, working back on, on my homegrown business. But anyways, guys, um, one of you guys mentioned uh, you want to see me do a color change for the BMW. Uh, I bought uh, another BMW for 1500 bucks. Uh, that is an X5. So that was a 5 Series that I was talking about. But this is X5, 1500 uh, taxes in and everything like that's how much I paid for it so it's a beautiful black 2007 um, BMW X5 I'm going to be doing a color change on it wasn't thinking about posting that video here but you guys asked for it so uh, let me know uh, if you're looking forward to seeing that video or not because I was thinking about putting it on my BMW channel and also on my regular automotive channel because I have a channel that's called uh, Zimaletta Motors and uh, that is spelled Z-I-M-A-L-E-T-A, -E Motors. That is my main channel with like 31,000 subscribers, I believe. Uh, and I put all the automotive videos there. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.